Hey everyone, me again, welcome back to Wixen Video X and my second video with Twining's Tea. So today I'm here with my lovely friend Lizzie, who is called Hot Tub Lizzie, which we'll explain in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are drinking the Super Blends Glow Tea. So for those of you who haven't watched the first video that I did with Lucy, um, Twining's have just released a new range of tea called Super Blends, which are here for you in different ways every single day. So I'm chatting to three very special people in my life that are here for me in different different ways as well. So we're drinking the glow tea today which actually when you came in today you were like oh my god I tried that one yeah. it's really nice. It's really nice. So it's a green tea as well and it's got strawberry and cucumber and aloe vera in and I think it's got added biotin as well so it's just great for making you feel like you're glowing on the inside out and to be fair it's really tasty. I thought it was going to be super sweet but I think it's the cucumber that kind of makes it taste quite refreshing. Yeah. I also think it'd be quite good cold. Yeah put ice in it, shake it up, make a little bit of an iced tea. Perfect for a day like today. It's very sunny today. I like this weather. We love this weather. Oh my goodness. Sunshine, please stay around. But don't you find that sunshine just makes you feel good? Definitely. Like yeah. when the sun's been out these past couple of days, I've just been feeling amazing because the weather just, and we get a lot of rain in this country and it's bloody miserable. It's been really it's bad. It's been horrible weather for the last, I don't know how many months it feels like a year. Yeah, we've had horrific Beast weather. from the east. Yeah. And now um, the sunshine's come. Sunlight comes out, you just feel so much nicer, don't you? You do. You feel like you're energised. You can do more stuff. Yeah. I, felt, I felt really motivated yeah. like the past couple of days. Like I can just yeah. literally do anything and I've got so much done. It's just been brilliant. I think it makes you want to like work out a little bit more. Yeah. Be a bit more active as yeah. well. Yeah. Because you do, you know, you start to feel good so you want to look good yeah. and yeah. Oh amazing. Get the fake tan out ladies. <laughs> so apart from sunshine, because this probably isn't going to last, what makes you feel great? But the thing that probably makes me feel the greatest, like physically and mentally, is doing yoga. Oh yeah, you I love yoga. Doing yoga. Yeah. I started that about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I thought, oh yoga, is it gonna be? It's just gonna be sort of um, a bit lazy, a bit of stretching here and there. But I do hot yoga, which oh, gosh, it's amazing. And when you come out of it and you've done it now, you, you feel like you've worked out, but you also feel like I feel all the stresses of the day have just washed away from me when I'm doing yoga, I'm drinking more, um, oh, I'm yeah. eating healthier, I'm just generally looking after myself a bit better I think. So. Especially hot yoga is obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I'm was. i going to be trying that in a couple of weeks actually, yeah. you should come along with me and you can show me the ropes oh, and help me when I pass out in the yeah. back. But yeah, I, I think I've done yoga in only a couple of times mm -hmm. but I thought the same that it was going to be just really boring, mm -hmm. like for old people just stretching. It's really hard, <laughs> but it, it does. It does sort of. It looks after your mind as well yeah. as your body, doesn't it? I think whenever you do something new, and you sort of when you master a pose, whether that's yoga, whether it's pole dancing, whatever it is that you're doing, that's mine. <laughs> it, it, once you've you've perfected something, or you've taken that next step, and you've got better at doing it, that can give you a massive boost. I think as well. You can really see your progress yeah. as well. I think with something like that, do you take photos when you do it? Of like um, yeah, I've, not not of myself, but I've had pictures taken by the class teacher, and they've been put up onto Facebook. When you just see yourself in that pose that you couldn't do a few months before, yes, yeah. it's, it's really nice. It gives you a real boost. I think. Well, like I said, it's good because yeah. it makes you sort of look after yourself in so many different ways as well. Yeah. Like healthy eating and stuff. I think it is that, isn't it? When you sort of start something new mm -hmm. then you once you're really into it yeah it proper changes your outlook on everything yeah. and I notice it when I don't do it which I've not been great at doing in recent weeks probably because the weather as well mm. I think just getting there it's hard to the drive effort there. to get there when the weather's bad especially when we've had all the snow and everything mm. um, but when you get you manage to get there and then you have a run of sessions it's really boosts you yeah yeah I must admit I'm not great at yoga I'll put it out there. <laughs> Not the most flexible person in the world. But yeah, I've just started doing pole dancing. Yeah. That's bloody fun. That's so fun. And again, I think it's like, it makes you feel good because you're learning something new. Yep. You can see your progress, exactly like that, because we take videos and photos as well. And even though I feel like an egg on a pole, when you actually look at the photos, you're like, actually, that looks pretty good. And I think I might make a new career. But um, yeah, it's like it's, it does make you feel good because again, you're sort of building up your strength. It's really hard, and you're learning something new, and it does sort of seep into other areas mm -hmm. for sure. I think there's that and kickboxing is a big one for me. Oh, I love, love to try that. kickboxing. Oh, so yeah, you have to come along yeah. to the class. It's yeah. honestly it's so good. That makes me feel great because I just feel super strong, super powerful, 
um, and just really in control after a yeah. kickboxing lesson. It sounds so strange, but that works really well for me. And just being outside, like yeah. taking Toby for a walk, even when the weather's not great, just fresh air, yeah. just does wonders for me. It makes me feel really good. And eating healthy. Yeah. Just looking after yourself in general, it, it has... Which you can forget to do, right? Yeah. When you're really busy, you forget to look after yourself. I think we're terrible, aren't we, as humans? We, especially as women as well, I think, yeah. that when things get busy and tricky, we become the bottom of our like priority list. Yeah. And it's really important to look after yourself mm. because we've only got one body, we've only got one mind. When it goes, that's it, game over. So, yeah, you've got to really look after yourself. Right, so everybody has their jam that they put on to like really cheer you up. What is your song that always, always perks you up, never fails to? Changes, I think, year on year. Currently, it's just Timberlake. I thought that was a song, and I was like, I don't know that song. Changes. Um, <laughs> Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Feeling. Oh yeah, yeah that's such a... Yeah, it, what, yeah. Anytime that comes on, I just... and I, I, It started off as a song I hated, because it was on that Trolls film, which oh, I yeah. actually went to see and pretty liked, actually. <laughs> But, um, guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. But the more I listen to it, it's just a catchy song. It um, is an upbeat one. Also, Teardrop, Massive Attack. Oh, that really makes me feel better. I listen to that straight away. I'm picturing being on a beach. I'm picturing <laughs> sand and surf. And that makes me feel better. That's amazing. It goes to my mood. Uplifts me every time. I didn't think about that. That's quite an old one, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Old, that's probably my go-to one. Mm. Yeah. If I'm ever feeling a little bit like I want a bit of a boost. I think my, I've got a playlist, it's really sad, I've got a playlist on my Spotify yeah. that is Girls Who Lift and it's my gym playlist, yeah. so it's just like got loads of sort of really upbeat kind of songs. Yeah. My, I, for some reason, Fancy by Iggy Azalea. Yeah. <laughs> That's become like my anthem, I'm like, yeah, love it, yeah. <laughs> thinking I'm as cool as her. And what else, there was one that I put on the, um, on the other day, Anything for the Great Showman. Yes. Oh, oh my God. That's it. You've got me obsessed with that. I <laughs> we was... went to go and see it and we yeah. were both like, I can't stop singing it. Yeah. I had that on when I was painting the Did you? <laughs> singing to all the songs. Like, yeah. It just makes you feel really <laughs> yeah, good does, though. Especially like This Is Me, yeah. that one. You just yeah. feel like super empowered. Powered. It's amazing yeah. like the power of music though, yeah. isn't it? Like yeah. how it can really cheer you up. Yeah. So what would you say then gives you like a real boost of confidence? Ooh. Apart from yoga. Probably. And wine. Yeah. <laughs> it always comes from wine. Um, I think compliments from female friends. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we compliment enough yeah. each other enough. Or women that you've just, you just see out and about yeah. in the gym, or if you see out somebody says, I really love that dress you're wearing, or great haircut, or something. Yeah. And I think compliments that come from women make yeah. me feel. Yeah, because that's because then you're not sort of relying on a man yeah. to give you that confidence Definitely. anyway. But yeah, for sure. I think as well, um, like making new friends yeah. gives me confidence because I've always struggled. I've done videos on it before. Like it's really hard to make friends as an adult yeah. and putting yourself out there. And we actually met at a party um, through like a mutual friend, and we just they were, they hired a hot tub, and it was meant to be for everybody, but it just ended up with all the just girls <laughs> sat drinking prosecco in this hot tub, which is why you're called Hot Tub Lizzie. And I'll we just <laughs> we just sort of hit it off, there, didn't we? Yeah. And we could have left it there, yeah, but we didn't. We swapped numbers and we started to chat and started to meet up and do stuff, and now we're like really good friends. And mm. I think it does give you a confidence boost if you put yourself out there, definitely. And because that was a new show, you're probably the first person that I've met who I met you once, yeah, and then we got in contact and became friends from that. Usually, it's when you, you, you're in a work environment, or yeah. you spend a long time with somebody, yeah, or actually, like friends of a friend, you go out yeah, together a yeah. lot. But you have, I think, you have to, though. I think I've just sort of started to look at friendships as almost like dating because <laughs> if you sit there and you think, Oh, I've got no friends, you need to put yourself yeah. out there. And you need to sort of, it's like, I often, I get jealous of kids, if that sounds weird, but you know how children just don't have any yeah. fear? And they're like, I was sat in um, a beer garden the other day when it was silly, and I was watching these kids, and some of them were just playing football, and then this whole, this other family turned up with two kids, and they were like, oh, do you want to sit down and have some dinner? He was like, no, no, I'm going to go and play football, and just went over, mm -hmm. and just like, can I play with you? And they were like, yeah, oh. sure. And they just made friends, and they played together. That would be weird if an adult did that. Yeah. Just like if you were sat drinking, like, can I come and have a drink with you? You'd be like, uh, no. Yeah. But why? Yeah. Like, why have we lost that sort we of. Put those in inhibitions up to Yeah. Me. 
Yeah. It does, I think it, it does make you feel confident sort of putting yourself out there, whether that's making a new friend or trying something new, just going for it. Even if you're rubbish or even if it doesn't necessarily yeah. click, you know, you can just go for a nice coffee or go for a couple of drinks yeah. and be like, yeah, it was nice, but don't think we had that much in common. You've still done it and it's still a big confidence mm -hmm. boost. So we've come to the end of our second video. Well done for Lizzie, her first time on YouTube, on the U of the Tubes. So leave her a comment down below and say, well done Lizzie, you did very well, she's so nervous. But it's so lovely having you guys on video, it's great. And I've got one more video to come, so keep your eyes peeled for that. If you are new, click that subscribe button down below, give this video a big thumbs up and leave us a comment, come and say hi. So we're gonna go finish our tea and then maybe, oh, we can drink it in the sunshine. Yes, perfect. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye! I just get into a bit of rhythm and I can't stop talking and I'm like, just stop talking. I, I, I'm like, my brain's saying, right, stop now. And I'm like, oh, that's my daily life, Amelia, that's... Lizzie, shut her off. <laughs>